explosions that were heard in the Amblong City district, which are several, and then several loud bangs were heard from the city center. Uh, we don't actually know how many people have been injured or how many buildings have been damaged, but media reports from the ground, specifically local media reports, say that two residential buildings were seen on fire, and reporters throughout the night, or early this morning, I mean, sent in images of blasts that could be seen from the city. Uh, earlier today, uh, Ukrainian officials said that they, uh, that Russian forces could enter the city later today, and that the Ukrainian troops were fighting on four different fronts in the city, but are currently outnumbered. Uh, missile strikes began at 4 a.m. this morning, according to Ukrainian President Zelensky. What you're seeing right now in the right and to the left, so to the left is a building that was partially damaged, and to your right in the skyline you can see fire in the distance in Kiev. We don't know how many people were injured in both these situations, if any, but the mayor of Kiev said earlier today that he estimated three people could have been injured from the blasts, but that was several hours ago. We don't know how that number has changed. What we have, so these are just images, again, from people on the ground, and what's your left is the skyline in Kiev. While we don't know how many people are currently injured from yesterday's reports of numbers, it, it's we don't know how this number has changed throughout today, but yesterday, Ukraine, Ukrainian officials said that 137 people had died in the country and 316 people were injured. That's not Kiev, that is the country as a whole. Uh, in international, there is a lot of international response to this. Uh, previously, we heard from the French finance minister that said that there were going to be sanctions and also uh, an attempt to stop sanctions from harming European, specifically French citizens. Uh, we're seeing to the right in our military helicopters uh, from someone who is driving, and they caught the footage of that. <laughs> Yesterday, we saw images of people desperately trying to leave the city. Um, we know that of an estimated 100,000 people, well, that's the estimated number of how many people have been displaced uh, within the entire country because of fighting. People have already started to arrive in Poland, which uh, and there are currently refugee centers or uh, reception.